young running back number 44 is making his NFL debut tonight for the Buffalo Bills. Just a few days ago, though, he was an occupational therapist for autistic children in San Diego. Tenders reporter Kristen Keogh spoke to Ricky Seal's mother about his unexpected dream come true. If you're a football fan, you probably remember the name Ricky Seal. He was a star running back here at Escondido High School before he graduated in 2010. Tonight, he's making his NFL debut as a Buffalo Bill. Five years ago, Ricky Seal made his mom proud on this high school football field every Friday night. He was just like, wow. <laughs> he gave her a new reason to smile when he called to let her know he's headed to the pros. The Buffalo Bills previously released Seal, but with five injured running backs, they need him. I was like, Ricky, are you in pads? And he was like, I'm in pads, Mom. I'm getting hit and everything. Seal is five foot nine and 203 pounds. He hardly touched the field in college at Stanford. At this point, he, he felt like I've never gotten on the field at Stanford. Why would anybody pick me to play? Ricky just finished occupational training therapy to work with autistic children at ACES in San Diego. We came to the conclusion that he was going to go ahead and he was going to pursue a career, but he would stay in shape just in case. Escondido football coach Steve Bridges says Ricky was a standout. Kids all know Ricky. You know, they have a high, you know, admiration from him, and um, he set the bar really high here as far as, uh, you know, being a running back. I think he's really genuinely happy he's got an opportunity. In Escondido, Kristen Keogh, 10 News. And if you do know about this, Ricky is following in his father's footsteps. His father, Sam Seal, he actually played for the Chargers in nine NFL seasons, uh, Chargers and the Raiders, that is. Ben Higgins has been following this game tonight with five NFL running backs hurt for the Bills. Ricky may have a shot at this thing, so Ben's going to have highlights for us coming up tonight on 10 News at 11. You know, I love to hear the stories of local people yeah. who make it big. Good for him. Totally.